Right, morning. It's early o'clock and we've got a long way to go today. So good morning and welcome to this video. So we're gonna be spending a night up at Styhead Tarn tonight. Done a bit of camping, done a bit of fishing. We've got nearly a six hour drive. So uh, without further ado, let's get the old vehicle started and let's start to make our way. Right then, weather doesn't look too bad at all. Better than last time we were here, when it was raining and windy and I ended up getting clamshelled in the roof tent and had to sleep in the back of the truck. So it wasn't a bad ride up actually, it took just under six hours. We left uh, Suffolk when it was absolutely throwing it down and uh, there is a bit of a break in the clouds here. So looking forward to this, looking forward to a night up on the tarn and doing a bit of fishing. I've literally just got to throw my bag on my back and get my, get my boots on. Just want to go through these with you. So these are by Armour Skin. These are anti-blister socks. They are 100% and no blister uh, guaranteed with these socks. I've been using them for years. They're absolutely fantastic. There's a 20% discount code in the description there. They're literally just like a really thin sock um, with a silk nylon coat in. They stick to your foot and they stop any abrasion. They're absolutely brilliant, these are. And then I'm literally just going to stick a pair of waterproof socks on. Um, these are by Daki. I've had those for years and they work really, really well. And then footwear. We've got the good old faithful Lundhag boots. I absolutely love these boots. I've had these for years and they're just absolutely brilliant. They're, they're fairly waterproof. You know, you can stand in a river for a little bit um, without getting your feet wet, but there's no, there's absolutely no insulation to them. They're just a leather boot. So if they do get wet, all you've got to do is just pull out the insoles and just dry them off. So yeah, really looking forward to this. So literally just walking up to Steinhead Town from here and it's just going to be a great night out, just uh, having a bit of a fish during the day and uh, having a bit of a camp. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop waffling, get these boots on, get the bag on my back, and let's get up the hill. Right then, there we go, all ready. Got my life on my back for a night, all my fishing gear, even a little hip flask. And here we go, what an absolute great place. I'm so chuffed to be up here. I know it's six hours away from where I live, but it's worth it. It's not a difficult drive. I can't remember the last time I was up here. I think it was after the last lockdown. Me and the dog came up here. Oh no, me and Jared came up here when his tent broke in the wind. That was the last time. But it's a really, really nice place to walk, you know. I parked in the farm down there, it cost £10 overnight. And just following this footpath, and then we're going to go up Styhead Gill, up to Styhead Tarn, do a bit of fishing, and spend the night up there. It's a nice little head of wild bound trout in there uh, nothing massive but absolutely beautiful beautiful fish but i think we've uh, we've locked out with the weather i was saying that just before uh, <laughs> i head off i see a an amber warning from the met office there something about a higher uh, sorry a low pressure system that's coming in i'm not sure whether that's for down in suffolk or up here probably up here no doubt we shall see the last time I come up here I think but please do understand that the tallest thing we've got in Suffolk is the stairs in Weatherspoons. 
could hear some dulcet Bolton tones just then. And I just bumped into Ant, and I think that's Matty from Adventure is Made. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Well, how random is that, eh? I always end up bumping into someone. So we're going to spend the night with Matt and Ant. Watching Ant not catch fish as normal, eh? <laughs> There's always, always someone I end up bumping into. My mother always used to say that, no matter where I am in the world, I always end up bumping into someone. Right, so we've probably got about 30 minutes, I think it is, till we get to Steinhead Tarn. It is probably gonna be quite busy. This is probably one of the most busiest wild camping spots in this area of the Lake District. And if it is too busy, we're not too far from Sprinkling Tarn. And there are some smaller tarns just around the corner as well. So we'll go have a look, do a bit of fishing and uh, see what we want to do for tonight. Right then, so here we be. We are at the camp for this evening. We're just gonna get ourselves set up. It's still fairly early actually. It's still 10 to three, but we're just gonna get some fishing gear out, have a bash and see what we can get here. There's always the option to head up the way up there to Sprinkling Tarn if we want to, but uh, there is no one else here at the moment, which is quite nice. As I said before, this is really quite a busy, busy wild camping spot this is, but uh, there's no one here as today, but uh, you never know what it's like. So we're just gonna bag this spot get some fishing rods out and uh, see what we can get out of Steyhead Tarn. all squared away I'm in the Fjern Jökota uh, today which is a one-man lightweight tent there's a review video of that tent on the channel there so that's all set up and everything just got my, my jacket on now because it's just getting a little bit cool so all ready to go fishing so I'm gonna open up the X5 I brought this one along with me because there's a lot of trout in here so I thought I might just set this up for a give it a go with a fly as well so I'm undecided do I fly or do I uh, do I put a spinner on I think we'll set it up for a fly first, shall we, and give it a go. It's been a while since I used this as a fly rod. Right, let's get it set up. Matt's already got his rod in the water there. First cast, no fish, unfortunately. So, uh, yep, let's get it set up, and let's see whether we catch up. So the X5 comes with four tips. You've got that small little tip there, which is good for some heavier lures. You've then got your, your fly tip there, which we're going to be using in just a second. And you've got that small little tip there, which is good for like a quiver fish fishing and then you just got your bog standard one which you can use for a multitude of different types of fishing let's say I'm gonna set it up with a fly I think we'll probably use a wet fly to start off with probably something like a dowel back or something like that but we shall see see how we get on
Oh, it's getting cold. Well, nothing on the old fishing anyway, apart from a good old faithful weed fish, which is really bizarre because I would have thought there wouldn't be much weed here. Yeah. When I fished here last, when was it? Uh, August last year. And there was no weed in here at all. And you would think that August would have the weed and, you know, April wouldn't have the weed, but hey ho, it's full of weed, but maybe a little bit, li little bit later on. Time for something to eat. Bag of the old faithful jerky. And I think it's time for a brew. So today's meal, we've got a new one today. We're going to be trying the Adventure Nutrition Chicken Tikka Masala and Rice here. So it's 600 kilocals of energy this one is, weighs 154 grams, needs 400 ml of water to rehydrate this one does. Looking forward to giving this one a go. I've never tried any of their meals before. So let's get some water on the boil. Let's rehydrate this and get some food down our neck. While we're waiting for the meal to rehydrate, I'm going to just take this lure off. And I'm going to stick a hook and a worm on, I think. So I've got a float stop, tiny little perch float, a little weight there. And I'm just going to stick a float stop in there as well, just to stop the uh, the weight from sliding down to the hook and then we'll just find that's a nice little hook in here right six minutes is up let's have a look so I think what we'll have is we'll have a level of baby food on these videos on how much it looks like baby food I think we'll give that a seven out of ten that one Smells good, smells really, really good. Let's see how it tastes. It's very sweet. A little bit, a little bit of spice to it. It's good. So that's me in the tent, all done for the night. Just got some warm thermals on and a nice pair of woolen socks. I'm just gonna jump in my bag, listen to an audio book. And, uh, and yeah, and then wake up tomorrow. It's now raining, as you can hear. Uh, well, it's a Lake District, what do you expect? But uh, hey ho, it is what it is. Well, it's now about five and it has been blowing a hoolie all night. It has not stopped raining. I am not looking forward to packing away. Hi ho, it is what it is. This is the worst bit, isn't it? Oh. Trying to pack away inside a tidy little tent when it's throwing it down with rain. What a night! And what a morning! Right then, all packed up. Leave no trace as always, well as far as we can see, because it's still not quite daylight. Getting across these little streams is going to be quite fun. Or rivers as they look now, to be perfectly honest. I'm not quite sure what last night was. Was it adventure is made or was it survive the night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it started out as an adventure, but then it finished as a survival night, I think. to 
the truck now. So thank you for watching this little episode here up in the Lake District. It's been an absolute dreadful night, it really has, but you know, it's not adventure unless you go out in this sort of stuff really. Well impressed with that tent, that really held up, absolutely fantastic. Great to meet up with uh, Ant again and finally to meet Matt, which we've been trying to get a meet up for, for ages and it's never happened. So thank you for watching this episode. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you next time on the next one.